The University of Arizona, also referred to as Arizona, U of A, or UA, is a public research university in Tucson, Arizona. Founded in 1885, the UA was the first university in the Arizona Territory. As of 2017, the university enrolls 44,831 students in 19 separate colleges, schools, including the University of Arizona College of Medicine in Tucson and Phoenix and the James E. Rogers College of Law, and is affiliated with two academic medical centers Banner, University Medical Center Tucson and Banner, University Medical Center Phoenix. The University of Arizona is governed by the Arizona Board of Regents. The University of Arizona is one of the elected members of the Association of American Universities an organization of North America's premier research institutions and is the only representative from the state of Arizona to this group. Known as the Arizona Wildcats often shortened to CATS, the UA's intercollegiate athletic teams are members of the Pac-12 Conference of the NCAA. UA athletes have won national titles in several sports, most notably men's basketball, baseball, and softball. The official colors of the university and its athletic teams are cardinal red and navy blue. Topic: History. After the passage of the Morrill Land Grant Act of 1862, the push for a university in Arizona grew. The University of Arizona was approved by the Arizona Territories' Thieving 13th Legislature in 1885, which also selected the city of Tucson to receive the appropriation to build the university. Tucson had hoped to receive the appropriation for the territory's mental hospital, which carried a $100,000 allocation instead of the $25,000 allotted to the territory's only university Arizona State University was also chartered in 1885, but at the time it was created as Arizona's normal school, and not a university. Tucson's contingent of legislators was delayed in reaching Prescott due to flooding on the Salt River and by the time they arrived, backroom deals allocating the most desirable territorial institutions had been made. Tucson was largely disappointed with receiving what was viewed as an inferior prize. With no parties willing to provide land for the new institution, the citizens of Tucson prepared to return the money to the territorial legislature until two gamblers and a saloon keeper decided to donate the land to build the school. Construction of Old Main, the first building on campus, began on October 27, 1887, and classes met for the first time in 1891 with 32 students in Old Main, which is still in use today. Because there were no high schools in Arizona Territory, the university maintained separate preparatory classes for the first 23 years of operation. Academics. <laughs> <laughs> The University of Arizona offers bachelor's, master's, doctoral, and professional degrees. Grades are given on a strict four-point scale with A worth four, B worth three, C worth two, D worth one and E worth zero points. Topic rankings The Center for World University Rankings in 2017 ranked Arizona number 75 in the world and 45 in the U.S. The 2018 Times Higher Education World University Rankings 3 rated University of Arizona 161st in the world and the 2017-18 QS World University Rankings ranked it 230th. 4 The University of Arizona was ranked tied for 106th in the National Universities category by U.S. News & World Report for 2018 and 46th among top public schools, the James E. Rogers College of Law was ranked tied for 48th nationally, and the University of Arizona College of Medicine, Tucson was tied for 76th nationally in primary care and tied for 67th for research by U.S. News & World Report for 2017. The College of Medicine was also rated number 7 among the nation's medical schools for Hispanic students, according to Hispanic Business Magazine. In 2017, the Eller MBA program was ranked 24th among public institutions and 49th nationally by U.S. News & World Report, which placed the school's management information systems program as second, the entrepreneurship program as fifth and the part-time MBA 30th among U.S. public schools. U.S. News & World Report also rated UA as tied for 33rd for online MBA programs, tied for 49th for best online graduate nursing programs, and tied for 33rd for best online graduate engineering programs nationally. 
UA graduate programs ranked in the top 25 in the nation by U.S. News & World Report for 2017 include Information Science 4th, Entrepreneurship 15th, Geology 3rd, Geophysics and Seismology 8th, Speech Pathology 7th, Rehabilitation Counseling 6th, Earth Sciences 7th, Analytical Chemistry 9th, Atomic, Molecular, Optical Sciences 9th, Audiology 9th, and Photography 9th. The Council for Aid to Education ranked UA 12th among public universities universities and 24th overall in financial support and gifts. Campaign Arizona, an effort to raise over $1 billion for the school, exceeded that goal by $200 million a year earlier than projected. In April 2014, the Arizona Now campaign launched with a target of $1.5 billion. As of 31 December 2016, the campaign has raised $1.59 billion, two years ahead of schedule. In 2015, the College of Architecture and Landscape Architectures undergraduate program in architecture was rated 10th in the nation for all universities, public and private, as reported in Design Intelligence. UA ranked 20th in overall undergraduate architecture programs by the same publication. The School of Middle Eastern and North African Studies at the University of Arizona is one of the most highly ranked area studies programs focusing on the Middle East in the United States. In addition to offering language training in Arabic, Hebrew, Persian, and Turkish, both modern and Ottoman, it is collocated with the Middle East Studies Association. The School of Geography and Development is ranked as one of the top geography graduate programs in the U.S. Topic admissions The UA is considered a selective university by U.S. News & World Report. In the 2014-2015 academic year, 68 freshman students were National Merit Scholars. UA students hail from all states in the U.S. while nearly 69% of students are from Arizona, nearly 11% are from California, and 8% are international, followed by a significant student presence from Texas, Illinois, Washington, Colorado and New York, fall 2013. Tuition Tuition at the University of Arizona is $11,591 for those who are full-time undergraduate residents and $30,745 for those who are non-residents. As in other states, the cost of tuition has been rising due to the decrease in government support and large increase in administrative staff over teaching staff. Undergraduate students who enrolled in the UA's Optional Tuition Guarantee Program in 2014 will remain at $11,591 for residents and $30,745 for non-residents through the 2018-19 academic year. Incoming students enrolled in a bachelor's degree program are automatically eligible for the Guaranteed Tuition Program and will not be subject to tuition increases for eight continuous semesters four years. The guaranteed tuition program does not apply to rates for summer and winter sessions. Topic: Honors College. The University of Arizona Honors College provides a program for over 4,500 students that creates a smaller community feel, like that of a liberal arts college within a large research institution. It started in 1962 with an acceptance of 75 students and has grown to 5,508 in the academic year 2016-2017. The main offices for the University of Arizona Honors College are near Park Avenue and 2nd Street, near the Harville Lecture Hall building. These offices are known as the Sloniker House. The University of Arizona Honors College is in affiliation with the University of Arizona and is headed by Dean Terry L. Hunt and Associate Dean Dr. Laura Berry. Under the Dean and Vice Dean are the offices of the Academic Advising Coordinator, Director of Nationally Competitive Scholarships, Director of Recruitment and Outreach, Director of Development, Program Coordinator for Career and Development and Community Engagement, Honors Professors, and Honors Advisors. The University of Arizona Honors College has a strong first-year program for its students that includes common reading materials and colloquium, paladin classes everyone must take as a freshman. The program's requirements entail that each honors student must complete 30 credit hours of honors credit by graduation time and maintain a cumulative GPA of 3.5. To complete these credit hours, students may take courses designated as honors at the University of Arizona or may turn a regular course into an honors course through an honors contract. 
In addition, they must collaborate with a faculty member and write an honors thesis before graduating with honors from the University of Arizona. The University of Arizona Honors College provides two on-campus dorms for their students, Yuma Hall and Arbol de la Vida. Yuma houses 190 men and women and is located near the Sloniker House on East North Campus Drive. In the historic district, Arbol de la Vida houses 719 men and women and is in the Park District, on the edge of campus on 6th Street and Tyndall Avenue near the Park Student Union. Yuma was renovated and turned into an honors dorm in 1988, whereas Arbol de la Vida first opened to students in the fall of 2011. There are additional resources available to honors students in the University of Arizona Honors College. Such resources include longer library checkout dates, cheaper printing options at the Sloniker House, priority registration, additional honors advising, smaller class sizes taught by honors faculty, clubs and organizations specifically available to only honors students such as the Honors Student Council and the Honors College Ambassadors, and additional scholarship opportunities. However, there is also a fee for participating in honors and an additional honors thesis is required of its students before graduation. Topic. Research Arizona is classified as a Carnegie Foundation RU, VH, Research Universities Very High Research Activity University formerly Research One University. The university receives approximately $606 million annually in research funding. Arizona is the fourth most awarded public university by NASA for research. The UA was awarded over $325 million for its Lunar and Planetary Laboratory LPL to lead NASA's 2007-08 mission to Mars to explore the Martian Arctic, and $800 million for its OSIRIS-REx mission, the first in U.S. history to sample an asteroid. The LPL's work in the Cassini spacecraft orbit around Saturn is larger than that of any other university globally. The U of A laboratory designed and operated the atmospheric radiation investigations and imaging on the probe. The UA operates the HiRISE camera, a part of the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. While using the HiRISE camera in 2011, UA alumnus Lugendra Ojha and his team discovered proof of liquid water on the surface of Mars, a discovery that was confirmed by NASA in 2015. UA receives more NASA grants annually than the next nine top NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory funded universities combined. As of March 2016, the UA's Lunar and Planetary Laboratory is actively involved in 10 spacecraft missions Cassini VIMS, GRAIL, the High Rise Camera Orbiting Mars, the Juno Mission Orbiting Jupiter, Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, LRO, MAVEN, which will explore Mars' upper atmosphere and interactions with the Sun, Solar Probe Plus, a historic mission into the Sun's atmosphere for the first time, Rosetta's VIRTIS, WISE, and OSIRIS REx, the first U.S. sample return mission to a near-Earth asteroid, which launched on September 8, 2016. UA students have been selected as Truman, Rhodes, Goldwater, and Fulbright Scholars. Student Honors. Highlights and Rankings. University of Arizona. Archived from the original on February 18, 2006. Retrieved March 29, 2006. According to the Chronicle of Higher Education, UA is among the top 25 producers of Fulbright Awards in the U.S. UA is a member of the Association of Universities for Research in Astronomy, a consortium of institutions pursuing research in astronomy. The association operates observatories and telescopes, notably Kitt Peak National Observatory located just outside Tucson. UA is a member of the Association of American Universities, and the sole representative from Arizona to this group. Led by Roger Angel, researchers in the Stewart Observatory Mirror Lab at UA are working in concert to build the world's most advanced telescope. Known as the Giant Magellan Telescope, the instrument will produce images ten times sharper than those from the Earth-orbiting Hubble Telescope. The telescope is set to be completed in 2021. GMT will ultimately cost $1 billion. Researchers from at least nine institutions are working to secure the funding for the project. The telescope will include seven 18-ton mirrors capable of providing clear images of volcanoes and riverbeds on Mars and mountains on the Moon at a rate 40 times faster than the world's current large telescopes. 
The mirrors of the Giant Magellan Telescope will be built at the U of A and transported to a permanent mountaintop site in the Chilean Andes where the telescope will be constructed, reaching Mars in March 2006. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter contained the high rise camera, with principal investigator Alfred McEwen as the lead on the project. This NASA mission to Mars carrying the UA designed camera is capturing the highest resolution images of the planet ever seen. The journey of the orbiter was 300 million miles. In August 2007, the UA, under the charge of scientist Peter Smith, led the Phoenix Mars mission, the first mission completely controlled by a university. Reaching the planet's surface in May 2008, the mission's purpose was to improve knowledge of the Martian Arctic. The Arizona Radio Observatory, a part of Stewart Observatory, operates the submillimeter telescope on Mount Graham. The National Science Foundation funded the iPlant Collaborative in 2008 with a $50 million grant. In 2013, iPlant Collaborative received a $50 million renewal grant. Rebranded in late 2015 as Sivers, the collaborative cloud-based data management platform is moving beyond life sciences to provide cloud computing access across all scientific disciplines. In June 2011, the university announced that it would assume full ownership of the Biosphere 2 scientific research facility in Oracle, Arizona, north of Tucson, effective July 1. Biosphere 2 was constructed by private developers funded mainly by Texas businessman and philanthropist Ed Bass with its first closed system experiment commencing in 1991. The university had been the official management partner of the facility for research purposes since 2007. As of 2018, UA was the only known U.S. university which has received funding from the Pioneer Fund, a non-profit institute which promotes scientific racism and eugenics. The funds were applied for by Aurelio José Figueredo, who directs the graduate program on human behavior and evolutionary psychology. Funds from the grant were used by Figueredo to attend the 2016 London Conference on Intelligence, where presentations on eugenics are given. Figueredo has also reviewed papers for Mankind Quarterly, a journal which has advocated for racial hierarchy. Figueredo has disavowed eugenics and racial inferiority. Topic. Libraries According to the 2012-2013 Association of Research Libraries, "...spending by university research libraries," report, UA libraries are ranked as the 41st overall university library in North America out of 115 for university investment. As of 2012, the UA's library system contains over 6 million print volumes, 1,100,000 electronic books, and 74,000 electronic journals. The main library, opened in 1976, serves as the library system's reference, periodical, and administrative center. Most of the main collections and special collections are housed here as well. The main library is located on the southeast quadrant of campus near McHale Center and Arizona Stadium. In 2002, the Integrated Learning Center ILC was completed as a $20 million, 100,000 square foot, 10,000 square meters computer facility intended for use by incoming students. The ILC features classrooms, auditoriums, a courtyard with vending machines, and an expanded computer lab with several dozen workstations and 3D printing. Computers and 3D printing are available for use by the general public with some restrictions as well as by UA students, faculty and staff. Much of the ILC was constructed underground, underneath the east end of the mall. The ILC connects to the basement floor of the main library. As part of the project, additional new office space for the library was constructed on the existing fifth floor. The Science and Engineering Library is in a nearby building from the 1960s that houses volumes and periodicals from those fields. The Music Building on the northwest quadrant of campus where many of the fine arts disciplines are clustered houses the Fine Arts Library, including reference collections for architecture, music including sheet music, recordings and listening stations, and photography. There is a small library at the Center for Creative Photography, also in the Fine Arts Complex, devoted to the art and science of photography. The Law Library is in the Law Building James E. Rogers College of Law, located at the intersection of Speedway Boulevard and Mountain Avenue. The Arizona Health Sciences Library, built in 1996, is located on the Health Sciences Center on the north end of campus and in Phoenix on the Phoenix Biomedical Campus, in the Health Sciences Education Building HSEB. 
The library serves the colleges of medicine, nursing, pharmacy and public health, the University of Arizona Health Network, and is a resource for health professionals and citizens across the state. Academic organizations and centers The University of Arizona Poetry Center houses an extensive collection of contemporary poetry. It is a large, open-shelf collection. Campus The main campus sits on 380 acres (1.5 square kilometers) in central Tucson, about 1 mile (1.6 kilometers) northeast of downtown. There are 179 buildings on the main campus. Many of the early buildings, including the Arizona State Museum buildings, one of them the 1927 Main Library and Centennial Hall, were designed by Roy Place, a prominent Tucson architect. It was Place's use of red brick that set the tone for the red brick facades that are a basic and ubiquitous part of nearly all UA buildings, even those built in recent decades. Indeed, almost every UA building has red brick as a major component of the design, or at the very least, a stylistic accent to harmonize it with the other buildings on campus. In the early 1930s, Place updated the campus master plan, first conceived by his architectural partner John Lyman in 1919 and modeled after the University of Virginia. The campus is roughly divided into quadrants. The north and south sides of campus are delineated by a grassy expanse called the Mall, which stretches from Old Main eastward to the campus eastern border at Campbell Avenue, a major north-south arterial street. The west and east sides of campus are separated roughly by Highland Avenue and the Student Union Memorial Center see below. The science and mathematics buildings tend to be clustered in the southwest quadrant, the intercollegiate athletics facilities to the southeast, the arts and humanities buildings to the northwest with the dance department being a major exception as its main facilities are far to the east end of campus, with the engineering buildings in the north-central area. The Optical and Space Sciences buildings are clustered on the east side of campus near the sports stadiums and the 1976 main library. Speedway Boulevard, one of Tucson's primary east-west arterial streets, traditionally defined the northern boundary of campus but since the 1980s, several university buildings have been constructed north of this street, expanding into a neighborhood traditionally filled with apartment complexes and single-family homes. The university has purchased a handful of these apartment complexes for student housing in recent years. Sixth Street typically defines the southern boundary, with single-family homes many of which are rented out to students south of this street. Park Avenue has traditionally defined the western boundary of campus, and there is a stone wall which runs along a large portion of the east side of the street, leading to the Old Main Gate, and into the driveway leading to Old Main. Along or adjacent to all of these major streets are a wide variety of retail facilities serving the student, faculty and staff population as is the case in other similar university neighborhoods throughout the United States, shops, bookstores, bars, banks, credit unions, coffeehouses and major chain fast food restaurants such as Chipotle, Panera Bread and Pei Wei. The area near University Boulevard and Park Avenue, near the main gate, has been a major center of such retail activity going back to the university's early decades. Many shops dating from the 1920s have been renovated since the late 1990s, other new retail shops have been built in recent years, and a nine story Marriott Hotel was built in this immediate district in 1996. The Stevie Eller Dance Theater, opened in 2003 across the mall from McHale Center as a 28,600-square-foot dedicated performance venue for the UA's dance program, one of the most highly regarded university dance departments in the United States. Designed by Gould Evans, a Phoenix-based architectural firm, the theater was awarded the 2003 Citation Award from the American Institute of Architects, Arizona Chapter. The Computer Science Department has set up a webcam that provides a live feed of the campus as seen from the top of the Gould Simpson Building. The Berger Memorial Fountain at the west entrance of Old Main honors the UA students who lost their lives in World War I, and dates back to 1919. The University of Arizona generates renewable energy with solar panels photovoltaic that have been installed on campus buildings. In 2011, the Sustainable Endowments Institute gave the university a college sustainability report card grade of B 
In 2015, the university opened the ENR2, set to be one of its greenest buildings on campus with features like a cutting-edge air conditioning system and 55,000-gallon water harvesting tank. Designed to resemble a slot canyon in the Sonoran Desert, the 150,000 sq feet building focuses on adaptation and reducing our carbon footprint. The oldest campus buildings are located west of Old Main. Most of the buildings east of Old Main date from the 1940s to the 1980s, a period of tremendous growth on campus and in Tucson in general, with a few recent buildings constructed in the years since 1990. The Student Union Memorial Center The Student Union Memorial Center, located on the north side of the mall east of Old Main, was completely reconstructed between 2000 and 2003. It replaced a 270,000-square-foot structure originally opened in 1951 with additions during the 1960s. The student union has 405,000 square feet, 37,600 square meters of space on four levels and includes 14 restaurants, a grocery market, a two-level bookstore with an office supplies section, 23 meeting rooms, eight lounge areas including one dedicated to the USS Arizona, a computer lab, a US post office, and a copy center. The building was designed to mirror the USS Arizona BB39. A variety of sculptures pepper the premises, decorating the air with the chimes of dog tags or the colors of refracted light in honor of those who have served. A bell housed on the USS Arizona, one of the two bells rescued from the ship after the attack on Pearl Harbor, has a permanent home in the clock tower of the Student Union Memorial Center on campus. The bell first arrived on campus in July 1946. The bell is rung seven times on the third Wednesday of every month at 12.07 p.m., symbolic of the battleships sinking on December 7, 1941 to honor individuals at the UA, as well as after home football victories, over any team except other Arizona schools. <laughs> <laughs> Bookstores The University of Arizona Bookstores, UA Bookstore or UA Bookstores is a self-financed auxiliary unit within the University of Arizona Division of Student Affairs, meaning the bookstores operates without the aid of monies allocated from state tax, student tuition, or any other campus subsidies. UA Bookstores serves an imperative role in the provision of financial support for student scholarships, student-led clubs and organizations including UA's student government, ASUA, for several UA academic departments, campus media including the Campus Daily Paper, the Arizona Daily Wildcat, several performance arts venues around campus, and more. UA Bookstores operates three store locations on campus, the main store in the Student Union Memorial Center SUMC, the medical store in Arizona Health Sciences Center, and the McHale Sports Stop located in the McHale Memorial Center. The organization also operates gift shops in the Flandreau Science Center, the UA Poetry Center, and the Biosphere 2 located north of Tucson. Off-campus locations include remote campus stores on the UA South Campus in Sierra Vista located south of Tucson, and the new UA Downtown Campus located in the historic Montgomery Ward Building, designed by Roy Place during the period he also served as the official UA Campus Architect in downtown Tucson. The Arboretum at the University of Arizona Much of the main campus has been designated an arboretum. Plants from around the world are labeled along a self-guided plant walk. The Crutch Cactus Garden includes the tallest bujum tree in the state of Arizona. The university also manages Boyce Thompson Arboretum State Park, located in rural Pinal County about 85 miles 137 kilometers north of the main campus. Two herbaria are located on the university campus and both are referred to as Aries in the Index Herbariorum. The campus also boasts hundreds of olive trees many of which were planted by Professor Robert H. Forbes. Many of these trees are over a hundred years old. <laughs> organization The University of Arizona, like its sister institutions Arizona State University and Northern Arizona University, is governed by the Arizona Board of Regents or the ABOR, a 12-member body. 
Eight volunteer members are appointed by the governor to staggered eight-year terms. Two students serve on the board for two-year appointments, with the first year being a non-voting apprentice year. The governor and the superintendent of public instruction serve as voting ex officio members. The ABOR provides policy guidance and oversight to the three major degree granting universities, as provided for by Title 15 of the Arizona Revised Statutes. Robert C. Robbins, M.D., was named the 22nd President of the UA on March 7, 2017. He began his term on June 1, 2017. Previously, he was the President and CEO of Texas Medical Center in Houston from 2012 to 2017. In prior roles, Robbins was professor and chairman of the Department of Cardiothoracic Surgery at Stanford University School of Medicine, founding director of the Stanford Cardiovascular Institute, president of the International Society of Heart and Lung Transplantation and president of the Western Thoracic Surgical Association. Robbins replaced Ann Weaver Hart, M.A., Ph.D., who was the first female president of the UA. He was named the lone finalist to succeed as UA president after Hart announced she would not seek to extend to her contract past its June 30, 2018 end date. During her tenure, Hart led the university's first integrated strategic academic and business plan and agreement with Banner Health to support the UA's biosciences research and medical education initiatives. Notable past presidents of the university include Hart, formerly president of Temple University, interim president Eugene Sander, who retired from the university after 25 years of service as an educator and administrator, including nearly one year in the interim president role, Robert N. Shelton, who began his tenure in 2000 2006 and resigned in the summer of 2011 to accept the presidency of the Fiesta Bowl, a BCS college football tournament played annually in the Phoenix area. Shelton's predecessor, Peter Lickens, vacated his post at the conclusion of the 2005–06 academic term. Other past UA presidents include Manuel Pacheco, Lickin's primary predecessor, the first person of Hispanic descent to lead the university and for whom the Integrated Learning Center is named, Henry Koffler, Pacheco's predecessor and the first UA alumnus to lead the university, John Schaefer, Richard Harville, who presided over a period of dramatic growth for the UA in the 1950s and 1960s, Homer L. Schantz, Kendrick C. Babcock, and Rufus B. von Kleinsmid. Topic. Athletics Like many large public universities in the U.S., sports are a major activity on campus, and receive a large operating budget. Arizona's athletic teams are nicknamed the Wildcats, a name derived from a 1914 football game with then-California champions Occidental College, where the LA Times asserted that, "...the Arizona men showed the fight of Wildcats." The University of Arizona participates in the NCAA's Division I-A in the Pac-12 Conference, which it joined in 1978. Teams Men's basketball The men's basketball team has been one of the nation's most successful programs since Lute Olson was hired as head coach in 1983, and is still known as a national powerhouse in Division I men's basketball. Between 1985 and 2009, the team reached the NCAA tournament 25 consecutive years, which is the third longest streak in NCAA history, after Kansas, with appearances from 1990 to 2017, North Carolina, with 27 consecutive appearances from 1975 to 2001. The Wildcats have reached the Final Four of the NCAA tournament in 1988, 1994, 1997, and 2001. In 1997, Arizona defeated the University of Kentucky, the then defending national champions, to win the NCAA National Championship NCAA Men's Division I Basketball Championship by a score of 84-79 in overtime, Arizona's first national championship victory. The 1997 championship team became the first and only in NCAA history to defeat three number one seeds en route to a national title Kansas, North Carolina, and Kentucky. The North Carolina game being the final game for longtime UNC head coach Dean Smith. Point guard Miles Simon was chosen as 1997 Final Four MVP. Simon was also an assistant coach under Olsen from 2005 to 2008. 
The Cats also boast the third highest winning percentage in the nation over the last 20 years. Arizona has won a total of 28 regular season conference championships in its program's history, and six Pac-12 tournaments. Since 2005, Arizona has produced 15 NBA draft picks. The Wildcats play their home games at the McHale Center in Tucson. A number of former Wildcats have gone on to pursue successful professional NBA careers, especially during the Lute Olson era, including Gilbert Arenas, Richard Jefferson, Mike Bibby, Jason Terry, Sean Elliott, Damon Studemeyer, Khalid Reeves, Luke Walton, Hassan Adams, Salim Studemeyer, Andre Iguadala, Channing Fry, Brian Williams, later known as Bison Deli, Sean Rooks, Judd Buchler, Michael Dickerson, Chase Butinger, Jordan Hill, Jurid Bayless, Derek Williams, Kadeem Allen, Aaron Gordon, Solomon. Hill, Rondé Hollis Jefferson, Stanley Johnson, T.J. McConnell, Lori Markkinen, Kobe Simmons and Steve Kerr. Kenny Lofton, now best known as a former Major League Baseball star, was a four-year letter winner as a Wildcat basketball player and was on the 1988 Final Four team, before one year on the Arizona baseball team. Another notable former Wildcat basketball player is Eugene Edgerson, who played on the 1997 and 2001 Final Four squads, and spent some of his professional career as one of the Harlem Globetrotters as Wildcat Edgerson. Before Lute Olson's hire in 1983, Arizona was the first major Division I school to hire an African-American head coach in Fred Snowden, in 1972. After a 25-year tenure as Arizona head coach, Olson announced his retirement from the Arizona basketball program in October 2008. After two seasons of using interim coaches, Arizona named Sean Miller, head coach at Xavier University, as its new head basketball coach in April 2009. During his tenure to date, Miller has led the Wildcats to four conference championships and six appearances in the NCAA tournament. Miller has served as head coach for four of the seven seasons in Arizona history in which the Wildcats have won 30 or more games. Topic football The football team began at the University of Arizona in 1899 under the nickname Varsity, a name kept until the 1914 season when the team was deemed the Wildcats. The football team was notably successful in the 1990s. Under head coach Dick Tomey, his Desert Swarm defense was characterized by tough, hard nosed tactics. In 1993, the team had its first 10-win season and beat the University of Miami Hurricanes in the Fiesta Bowl by a score of 29-0. It was the bowl game's only shutout in its then 23-year history. In 1998, the team posted a school record 12-1 season and made the Holiday Bowl in which it defeated the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Arizona ended that season ranked fourth nationally in the coaches and API poll. The 1998 Holiday Bowl was televised on ESPN and set the now-surpassed record of being the most watched of any bowl game in that network's history. From November 2003 until October 2011, the program was led by Mike Stoops, brother of Bob Stoops, the head football coach at the University of Oklahoma the 2000 BCS National Champions. Stoops was fired on October 10, 2011. Former Michigan and West Virginia head coach Rich Rodriguez was hired on November 21, 2011 to lead the Wildcats. The announcement was made by UA Athletic Director Greg Byrne via Twitter. In his first season, Rodriguez took the Wildcats to the 2012 New Mexico Bowl, where they defeated the University of Nevada Wolf Pack. In his third season, the Wildcats won the Pac-12 South and played in the 2014 Fiesta Bowl. In 2015, the Wildcats played in their fourth consecutive bowl game, defeating the University of New Mexico in the New Mexico Bowl. In 2017, they lost to the Purdue Boilermakers in the Foster Farms Bowl, the Wildcats' 21st bowl game. Five, Dave Heek was named Arizona's 13th Director of Athletics in February 2017 and officially started in that role on April 1, 2017. Heek previously served as athletics director at Central Michigan University for 11 years and as a staff member in the University of Oregon Athletics Department for 18 years. Greg Byrne resigned the post in January to accept the same role at the University of Alabama. Rodriguez was relieved of his duties on January 2, 2018, in the wake of an internal university investigation of sexual harassment claims made by Rodriguez's former administrative assistant. After a nationwide search and much media speculation, Kevin Sumlin was hired on January 14, 2018 as the new Wildcats head football coach. Sumlin was previously head coach at Texas A&M University and the University of Houston. 
Topic: <laughs> Baseball. The baseball team had its first season in 1904. The baseball team has captured four national championship titles in 1976, 1980, 1986 and 2012, with the first three coached by Jerry Kindle and the most recent by Andy Lopez. Arizona baseball teams have appeared in the NCAA National Championship title series a total of 34 times, including 1956, 1959, 1963, 1976, 1980, 1986, 2004, 2012, and 2016. Arizona baseball has appeared in the College World Series 17 times. Arizona is seventh all-time in games won in the regular season with 2,347 wins. Home games are played at High Corbett Field. Jay Johnson, previously head coach of the University of Nevada baseball program, succeeded Andy Lopez who retired after the 2015 season. In his first season as head coach, Johnson guided his team to the program's 17th College World Series appearance and 8th Championship Series appearance. Arizona baseball also has a student section named the Hot Corner. 75 former Arizona baseball players have played in a major league. Famous alums include Terry Francona, Kenny Lofton, Shelley Duncan, Trevor Hoffman, Mark Melanson, Chip Hale, Craig Lefferts, J.T. Snow, Don Lee, Carl Thomas, Jack Howell, Mike Paul, Dan Schneider, Rich Hinton, Ed Vosberg, Hank Leiber, Ron Hassey, Brad Mills, Joe Magrain, Alex Mejia, Dave Baldwin, Brain Anderson, Terry Francona, Jack Daugherty, Scott Erickson, Gil Heredia, Casey Candaele, George Arias, and Scott Kingery. Soccer The University of Arizona women's soccer team wrapped up their 2017 season on November 17 in the second round of the NCAA tournament, finishing within the 4th of May 11 record, and 7 Pac-12 wins, the most in program history. Led by coach Tony Amato, Arizona's seniors became the first group in program history to make three NCAA tournament appearances, winning at least one match in each tournament. The program had only two appearances in its history prior to the last four years. Ten members received Pac-12 academic honors for their performance in the classroom. <laughs> <laughs> Softball The Arizona softball team is among the top programs in the country. The softball team has won eight NCAA Women's College World Series titles, in 1991, 1993, 1994, 1996, 1997, 2001, 2006 and 2007 under head coach Mike Candria NCAA Softball Championship. The team has appeared in the NCAA National Championship in 1991, 1992, 1993, 1994, 1995, 1996, 1997, 1998, 2001, 2002, 2006, 2007 and 2010 a feat second only to UCLA, and has reached the College World Series 19 times. The Arizona Wildcats softball team won their first Pac-12 championship in 10 years after defeating the number 12 UCLA Bruins 7-2, and qualified for its 31st consecutive NCAA tournament, creating a new NCAA softball record. Coach Candria, along with former Arizona pitcher Jenny Finch, led the 2004 U.S. Olympic softball team to a gold medal in Athens, Greece. The Wildcat softball team plays at Rita Hillenbrand Memorial Stadium. Topic. Golf The university's golf teams have also been notably successful. The men's team won a national championship in 1992 NCAA Division I Men's Golf Championships, and has produced a number of successful professionals, most notably Jim Furyk. The women's team won national championships in 1996, 2000 and 2018 NCAA Women's Golf Championship. The women's golf program has produced professionals Annika Sorenstam and Lorena Ochoa. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Men's lacrosse. The lacrosse team is a club team, not a varsity sport at Arizona, known as the Laxcats. Its existence since the mid-1960s is saturated with a rich tradition of success. 
In the 1960s, Arizona was a Division I varsity program, coached by Carl Runk, an Arizona graduate and football player. In 1998 Runk retired after 28 years at Towson University in Maryland. Other Many other Wildcats have met with success at the university. Alex Creek and Michelle Oldham won the NCAA women's doubles tennis title in 1993, defeating Texas in the final. Although surprising to some, the University of Arizona has a noteworthy history in ice hockey. The school's club hockey team, formerly known as the Ice Cats, won over 800 games between its inception in 1979 and 2011. The Ice Cats defeated Penn State for the National Collegiate Club Hockey National Championship in 1985. They also appeared in eight Final Fours 84, 86, 87, 88, 91, 93, 94, 97 and 10 Elite Eights. As of 2011, they are part of ACA Division I, and are known formally as the Arizona Wildcats hockey team. Robert M. Tanita was a nationally ranked collegiate wrestler who reached the NCAA Finals Tournament as WAC champion in 1963. Three national championships for synchronized swimming were won in 1980, 1981, and 1984, though these championships were in the Association of Intercollegiate Athletics for Women, and not the NCAA. Along with winning three national championships in the pool for synchronized swimming, the Wildcats have also won their first NCAA championship in men and women's swimming and diving for the seasons of 2007-2008. Topping off these weekends Frank Bush, the men and women's head coach, was named NCAA Swimming Coach of the Year. Arizona men became the first team to claim a first-time title since UCLA's win in 1982. Also, the men ended Texas and Auburn's winning streak since 1998. At the end of the meet, the Texas Longhorns took second while 2007's champion, the Auburn Tigers, took fifth. For the women, Arizona worked on the disappointment of 2007's defeat. The women were winning until the last day when Auburn grasped the title. Unlike 2007, Arizona's women did not let anyone come close. The Wildcats won with 484 team points while the Auburn Tigers came in second with 348 and the Stanford Cardinal in third with 343. Student athletes from the women's swimming and diving team have been particularly heralded by the NCAA. The NCAA Woman of the Year Award was won by UA swimmers Whitney Myers, Lacey Nymeyer and Justine Schluntz in 2007, 2009 and 2010 respectively. The three awards and the 1994 award won by track and field athlete Tanya Hughes are the highest number of Woman of the Year awards won by a single university. <laughs> <laughs> Individual national championships A number of notable individuals have also won national championships in the NCAA. Arizona's first NCAA individual champion in the sport of men's swimming came in 1981 when Doug Town won the 500-yard freestyle at the NCAA championships. Another individual champion occurred in 1989 when Marius Podkosielny won the 1650-yard mile at the NCAA national championships held at the IUPUI Natatorium. Some other champion swimmers include Chrissy Amon Layton, R.Y.K. Neathling, Margot Gear, Kevin Cordes, and Amanda Beard. Annika Sorenstam won in 1991 in golf, and Brigetta Barrett won the women's high jump in 2013. The men's cross country has also produced two individual national titles in 1986, Aaron Ramirez, and 1994, Martin Kana, NCAA men's cross country champions. The women's cross country also produced two individual national titles in 1996, Amy Skiras, and 2001, Tara Chaplin, NCAA Women's Cross Country Championship. Another notable individual was football standout Vance Johnson, who won the NCAA long jump in 1982. Topic: <inaudible> Rivalries. <inaudible> <inaudible> A strong athletic rivalry exists between the University of Arizona and Arizona State University located in Tempe, Arizona. The University of Arizona leads the all-time record against Arizona State University in men's basketball 149-83, as well as in football 49-41-1. The football rivalry game between the schools is known as 
the duel in the desert. The trophy awarded after each game, the Territorial Cup, is the nation's oldest rivalry trophy, distinguished by the NCAA. Rivalries have also been created with other Pac-12 teams, especially University of California, Los Angeles which has provided a worthy softball rival and was Arizona's main basketball rival in the early and mid-1990s. Mascot The university's mascots are a pair of anthropomorphized wildcats named Wilbur and Wilma. The identities of Wilbur and Wilma are kept secret through the year as the mascots appear only in costume. In 1986, Wilbur married his longtime wildcat girlfriend, Wilma. Together, Wilbur and Wilma appear along with the cheerleading squad at most wildcat sporting events. Arizona's first mascot was a real desert bobcat named Rufus Arizona. Introduced in 1915, Wilbur was originally created by Bob White as a cartoon character in the university's humor magazine, Kitty Cat. From 1915 through the 1950s the school mascot was a live bobcat, a species known locally as a wildcat. This succession of live mascots were known by the common name of Rufus Arizona, originally named after Rufus von Kleinsmid, president of the university from 1914 to 1921. 1959 marked the creation of the first incarnated Wilbur, when university student John Paquette and his roommate, Dick Heller, came up with idea of creating a costume for a student to wear. Ed Stuckenhoff was chosen to wear the costume at the homecoming game in 1959 against Texas Tech and since then it has become a long-standing tradition. Wilbur celebrated his 50th birthday in November 2009. Fight song In 1952 Jack K. Lee, an applicant for the UA's band directorship, departed Tucson by air following an interview with UA administration. From his airplane window, Lee observed the huge letters on the roof of the UA gymnasium reading, Bear Down. Inspired, Lee scribbled down the music and lyrics to an up-tempo song. By the time his plane landed, he had virtually finished it. A few weeks later Lee was named the UA Band Director, and in September 1952, the UA Band performed Bear Down, Arizona, in public for the first time. Soon thereafter, Bear Down, Arizona, became accepted as UA's fight song, Bear Down. <laughs> Zona Zoo Officially implemented in 2003, ZonaZoo is the official student section and student ticketing program for the University of Arizona Athletics. The ZonaZoo program is co-owned by the Associated Students of the University of Arizona (ASUA) and Arizona Athletics, yet run by a team of individuals called the ZonaZoo Crew. In 2014, ESPN ranked ZonaZoo as the top student cheering section in the Pac-12 Conference, and in 2015, ZonaZoo received the Best Student Section of the Year award from the National Collegiate Student Section Association. Topic. Notable venues The McHale Center, which opened in 1973, is used by men's and women's basketball, women's gymnastics, and women's volleyball. The official capacity has changed often. The largest crowd to see a game in McHale was 15,176 in 1976 for a game against the University of New Mexico, a main rival during that period. In 2000, the floor in McHale was dubbed Lute Olson Court, for the basketball program's winningest coach. During a memorial service in 2001 for Lute's wife, Bobby, who died after a battle with ovarian cancer, the floor was renamed Lute and Bobby Olson Court. In addition to the playing surface, McHale Center is host to the offices of the UA Athletic Department. McHale Center is named after J.F. Pop McHale, who was athletic director and coach from 1914 through 1957. Joe Cavallari, the ooh ah man, made his dramatic and inspiring appearances there. Arizona Stadium, built in 1928 and last expanded in 2013, seats 56,037 patrons. It hosts American football games and has also been used for university graduations. The turf is Bermuda grass, taken from the local Tucson National Golf Club. Arizona football's home record is 258-139-12. 
The largest crowd ever in Arizona Stadium was 59,920 in 1996 for a game against Arizona State University. Rita Hillenbrand Memorial Stadium hosts softball games. Jerry Kindle Field at Frank Sansett Stadium hosted baseball games until the 2012 season, when the baseball program began playing home games at High Corbett Field, a former Cactus League spring training facility located three miles southeast of campus. Student life Fraternities and sororities As of 2017, there are 52 fraternity and sorority chapters that are recognized by the University of Arizona. As of 2006, approximately 10.3% of male UA students were members of campus fraternities, and 10.8% of female students were members of sororities. The fraternities and sororities are governed by four governing councils. The Interfraternity Council IFC represents 25 fraternities, the National Pan-Hellenic Council NPHC represents six historically African-American fraternities and sororities, the Pan-Hellenic Association PHC represents 20 sororities and the United Sorority and Fraternity Council USFC represents 10 multicultural and multi-interest Greek organizations. Delta Chi Lambda is an Asian American sorority that was established at the University of Arizona in 2000. The Lambda Chapter of Freightiers, a non-exclusive, non-profit social service club, was installed in 1937. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Student clubs and organizations. A new and expansive student union building opened in 2003, it is the largest student union in the U.S. not affiliated with a hotel. The University of Arizona is home to more than 500 philanthropic, multicultural, social, athletic, academic, and student clubs and campus organizations. A listing is found at Associated Students of the University of Arizona through the student union. CSIL also houses the Arizona Blue Chip Program one of the largest collegiate level leadership development programs in the United States, with over 500 active students at any one time throughout the four years of the program. Blue Chip was founded in 1999 and has formed a partnership with the University of Wollongong, in Wollongong, Australia where a sister program, the Black Opal Leadership Development Program began in February 2005. Structure, curriculum, students and even staff are exchanged between the two institutions in a unique international leadership development initiative. Also located in the CSIL is the office of Camp Wildcat, a student-run non-profit service organization that serves local disadvantaged youth. Through funding from the CSIL and the associated students of the University of Arizona, clubs are given the resources and encouragement to explore unusual interests. In 2008 University of Arizona students started their own branch reinstated as of the 21st of April 2010 of the Arizona Students for Life ASFL pro-life association whose goal is to help pregnant college women and raise awareness about elective abortion in 2015 the US Environmental Protection Agency recognized the University of Arizona for its food diversion efforts giving particular recognition to the student formed Compost Cats a nationally unique organization the University of Arizona is home to the Arizona Model United Nations Founded in 1963, this organization of UA students each year hosts several hundred high school students in a bilingual simulation of the United Nations and other international bodies. In 2008, the Office of Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender, and Questioning Student Affairs was created to provide services to LGBTQ students and staff on campus and serve opposite an existing student group called Pride Alliance. A recognized LGBTQ student group that has been active since the 1990s in providing support and visibility to LGBTQ students on campus. The Strategic Alternative Learning Techniques SALT Center helps students with learning and attention challenges to succeed in a higher education. Founded during the 1980-1981 academic year as a program within the Student Resource Center. At the time, SALT had provided academic services and accommodations up to three students with learning disabilities. During the 1990s, the SALT Center was located in the basement of Old Main, the oldest building at the university. 
During the time, SALT staff was located in tight offices while tutors conducted tutoring sessions around Old Main, often sitting outside, immersed in the sounds of everyday university life. In 2000, the SALT Center moved out of Old Main and into a 16,000-square-foot building with the help of 500 individual donors, families, and parents in order to help serve better for the student population at the university. As of 2013, the SALT Center has more than 550 students at the University of Arizona with learning disabilities, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder (ADHD), and a range of other learning and attention challenges. For those who did not grow up in the U.S. or who are working to gain English proficiency, the Center for English as a Second Language (CESL) is also available. For more than 45 years, CESL has offered a variety of English language learning and teaching programs. Students are able to learn on campus while pursuing complete admission into the UA as they meet their English language proficiency requirements. Topic: Traditions. At the beginning of each school year, freshmen repaint the A on A mountain and since 1914 the A remains a Tucson and Wildcat landmark. The a was painted red, white and blue until all troops in foreign wars stemming from the September 11th attacks returned home. This was passed by the ASUA student government body shortly after the war in Afghanistan began in 2001. As of 2016 the A on A mountain has returned to white. Later in the school year, Spring Fling, an ASUA student government program, and the largest student-run carnival in the U.S., has been held annually by UA students since 1965, under a different name, the Rites of Spring. The event occurs every April, and brings together the U of A community and the Tucson community. The UA club, Camp Wildcat, initially began the festival as a fundraiser and continued to do so until the event was taken over by ASUA in 1975. Topic. Marching band The University of Arizona marching band, named the Pride of Arizona, played at the halftime of the first Super Bowl. Most recently, the Pride's 2014 Daft Punk show was chosen by the CBDNA College Band Directors National Association as one of ten in the nation to be presented at their national conference in March 2015. They are directed by UA alumnus and former Pride of Arizona member Chad Schupman. Instrumentation includes woodwinds, brass, and a marching percussion section, as well as a palm line, twirling line, and color guard. Topic: <laughs> School colors. The current school colors are UA red and Arizona blue, recognized in the Pantone matching system with the PMS number 200C and 281, respectively. In CMYK system, process color for UA Red is C, 18M, 100Y, 83K, 8, and C, 100M, 71Y, 0K, 58 for Arizona Blue. Before 1900, the colors were sage green and silver. The switch was made when a lucrative discount on red and blue jerseys became available. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Student government. Overall, students at the University of Arizona have been represented by the Associated Students of the University of Arizona since 1913. Every year, usually in March, the students elect a senator to represent each of the respective undergraduate colleges, three at-large senators, an administrative vice president, an executive vice president and president to one-year terms. The ASUA oversees the Zona Zoo and UA Spring Fling programs, while holding administrative oversight for the nearly 600 student clubs on campus. Each of the senators and all administrative officers also are appointed to serve on the various University of Arizona faculty and administrative committees. Students for Sustainability become an ASUA-recognized program in 2008. It focuses on pursuing institutionalized sustainability throughout the University of Arizona and the Greater Tucson area. In 1997, the Graduate and Professional Student Council (GPSC) split from the ASUA and has since become the de facto body representing graduate and professional students. 
Each year, usually in March or April, the graduate and professional students elect representatives by constituency and at-large representatives. The President, Administrative Vice President AVP, and Executive Vice President EVP are also elected at large by the graduate and professional student body. GPSC is a member of two national advocacy organizations, Advocje for Graduate Education SAGE and the National Association of Graduate Professional Students NAGPS. GPSC officers and representatives serve on numerous university committees. GPSC administers grant programs that support the research, projects, travel, and professional development of graduate and professional students. On-campus residents also have their own student leadership organization known as the Residence Hall Association. Anyone who lives on campus is automatically a member of RAW. The individual subunits of RAW consist of the hall councils of all 23 residence halls, or dorms. Each hall council is one of three structures, traditional, hybrid, and open. Additionally, each hall council has an ecorep for sustainability, and two RA representatives who are sent to represent their hall at RA general body meetings and one ACT rep for social justice. At these meetings, the gathered representatives and RA executive board, elected from within the RA general body, discuss issues and make decisions concerning all 7,000 on-campus residents. Members of the RA executive board are elected to one-year terms during the spring semester and are sworn into office at the RA banquet usually held during the later part of April. Hall council members and RA representatives are usually elected by the residents of their respective residence halls during the first two weeks of the fall semester in late August and early September with their term running through the end of the spring semester in early May. The RA Executive Board consists of eight different elected positions President, Director of Public Relations, National Communications Coordinator, Director of Business Administration, Director of Equipment Services, Director of Training and Development, and Director of Programming along with two ex officio members, the appointed parliamentarian position and the NRHH President as well as an advisor who holds the role of coordinator for student leadership within residence life. In 2011, the Residence Hall Association revamped its executive board in effort to make the eBoard more parallel to the IACURH Regional Board and NACURH National Board. The University of Arizona Residence Hall Association has hosted three regional IACURH Residence Hall conferences, which were hosted in 1961, 1997, and 2004 in a No Frills business meeting in 2013. In 2005 and 2012 the University of Arizona's Residence Hall Association was voted by NACURH National Association of College and University Residence Halls as the National School of the Year out of over 400 schools across the United States. In May 2009, the University of Arizona hosted the NACURH National Residence Hall Conference also hosted in 1963, bringing more than 2,200 on-campus residents from over 250 schools across the United States and Canada for three days of school spirit and learning how to become more sustainable and socially just. The conference theme Our Place in Time focused on sustainability and social justice within the residence halls. In film and literature The university has made itself known through many films and television appearances. The film Revenge of the Nerds 1984 was filmed at the University of Arizona. In the movie, the Alpha Beta Jock House was the real-life home to the UA chapter of the Phi Delta Theta fraternity until purchased by the Alpha Gamma Rho fraternity in the late 1980s. The dorm room with the balcony seen in the film is located on the third floor of historic Cochise Hall on campus. When the characters are moving in at the beginning of the movie, the dorm behind the post office drop is Yuma Hall. In the 1994 film Speed, Dennis Hopper refers to Sandra Bullock's character as a wildcat because of the emblem on her sweater. In the 1989 film Leviathan, Peter Weller's character, Stephen Beck, frequently wears an Arizona Wildcats hat. In the 2006 film You, Me and Dupree, produced by Arizona alum Scott Stuber, several characters are watching the Arizona Wildcats play football against Washington State University. While playing in their blue uniforms, Arizona scores on a fumble recovery. The film Eating Out was shot around the University of Arizona campus in Tucson. An episode of Little House on the Prairie, entitled, A Wiser Heart. 
Used Old Main as a prominent backdrop throughout. The film Night of the Lepus features a short shot of Old Main in the first few minutes. The university appears at the end of the film as well. Portions of David Foster Wallace's novel Infinite Jest take place at the University of Arizona campus, including a scene in the administration building satirizing the school's bureaucracy. Wallace was an alumnus of UA. Notable alumni and staff Notable alumni include U.S. Representative Raul M. Grijalva the creator of the television series Sesame Street and founder of the children's television workshop Joan Ganz Cooney NFL quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles Nick Foles Triple Crown winner Bob Baffert Jerry Bruckheimer, film and television producer Singer Linda Ronstadt Stand-up comedian, director, and producer Gary Shandling NFL tight end for the New England Patriots Rob Gronkowski NFL linebacker Lance Briggs Macy's, Inc. CEO and President Terry Lundgren Today Show co-anchor Savannah Guthrie Brian Schmidt, winner of 2011 Nobel Prize in Physics 1989. Barbara Kingsolver, author awarded the National Humanities Medal in 2000 Softball player and Olympic gold medalist Jenny Finch Richard Jefferson, NBA player for the Cleveland Cavaliers NBA player for the Golden State Warriors, Andre Iguodala NBA head coach for the Golden State Warriors, Steve Kerr NBC sideline reporter Alex Flanagan Reporter, author, and talk show host Geraldo Rivera Musician and photographer Linda McCartney Entrepreneur Vipudeshwar Sitaraman Artist Ted DeGrazia, known for his depictions of the American Southwest Actor and television personality Greg Kinnear Novelist and screenwriter Richard Russo Actress Kate Walsh TV personality Courtney Kardashian Former mayor of Palm Springs, California 1995-2003 William G. Kleindienst Actress Kristen Wiig Author David Foster Wallace Several NASA astronauts, two Nobel laureate on the faculty are members of the College of Optical Sciences, Nicolas Blombergen physics, 1981, and Willis E. Lamb physics, 1955. As of 2017, Noam Chomsky is laureate professor of linguistics. The University of Arizona has eight Pulitzer Prize winners alumni and faculty, and more than 50 faculty as elected members of exclusive academies including Britain's Royal Society, and the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. See also Arizona School Liberalism Knowledge River Optics Valley University of Arizona College of Optical Sciences University of Arizona Museum of Art University Medical Center Tucson, Arizona USS Arizona Salvaged Artifacts <laughs>